And will the staff shakeup change the way the White House gets its message out? We're going to have a fair and balanced panel to debate coming up. A staff shakeup after months of rumors about turbulence inside the White House. Newly minted communications director Anthony Scaramucci tried to, dis to dissuade any talk of problems during his press briefing this week. I think the, the ship is going to go, the ship is going in the right direction. I think we've got to just radio signal the direction very, very clearly. Okay, ship is going in the right direction. I have a feeling our panel may not agree on that. Let's bring in Mark <laughs> Levine, a member of the Virginia House of Delegates and a radio show host. And radio show host, Josh Kimbrell. He's a contributor for Red State. Gentlemen, I feel like you aren't, this is, this may be a shocker to our viewers. I feel like you're not going to agree that the ship is headed in the right direction. And I'm just going to start with Josh because I think I know Mark's answer. <laughs> I, I think the ship is heading in the right direction if we get back on message. And I think that's the whole point of this shakeup at the White House is that uh, conservatives back in South Carolina are frustrated that Obamacare is still the law of the land and here we are almost in August. I think we're all concerned that there's no tax reform package been passed. And here we are, three or four administrations, we've been talking about balancing the budget, nothing's been done. A so the right, want a writing the wins. We want tangible wins and the bad communication strategy has been an impediment to that and I think that this shakeup is an opportunity to, what should we say, press the reset button, Mark? Oh. You know, I'll tell you, this, this it's hard for any communications team working with this president. I feel sorry for Sean Spicer because he comes out, he says something, he says, well, he didn't fire Comey because of Russia, and then the president goes on, on NBC and says, yeah, I fired Comey because of Russia. The president is undermining his own staff. Whatever they say, he's going to change his well, story two minutes heard, later. You heard Anthony say, listen, I answer and I'm reporting directly to the president. So it could be, this is, they're going to be a more cohesive unit now. But that's then the, the president's going to change his mind. That's the key. He could that's something the key. else any moment. That's the key. Now, I would agree, believe it or not, I'm going to say I agree that the president needs to not undermine his own communications team, and I think that's been a problem. But Scaramucci reporting directly to the president, not having Sean Spice to report to Reince Priebus, is a good thing, because Scaramucci and Trump seem to have similar personal dynamics. Uh, Spicer was a loyalist to Priebus at the RNC, nothing wrong with that, just a personality difference. So Spicer can't message for a guy he's not, not like, and Trump and Scaramucci are much more similar you know, personality. They call him the mooch for a reason. Uh, this is a guy who's a New York billionaire guy, We're not hedge talking about the Clinton guy, Global Initiative here, Mark, and we're talking uh, about mooching, let's talk about the CGI. I mean, this is what the Trump people call him, this isn't my nickname for the guy. But the point is, these are New York hedge fund people, they want to really get a lot of money, and most a lot of, them of tax cuts for rich people, and most of them so they're on the same party. page. Most of them donated to your party last year. I don't know where year. they're going. Most of them donated going, your John. party last year. Talking so. about riding the ship, I do want to continue this conversation, perhaps at a later date, but there's one other topic that I want to get to because there was a lot of headlines this week. We saw President Trump in an interview with the New York Times, who was fairly critical of his own attorney general. Then we had a Washington Post report on Friday night that there was more information coming from U.S. intelligence, intelligence agencies. This is reported then, not confirmed by Fox News, out of the conversations that the attorney general allegedly had with Kislyak. I want to get your takeaway. I'll start with you, Mark, and and then, Josh, you can respond from, from those headlines this week. Those are two very big stories. It's a very big story. For all the jokes on the communications aside, when the lead law enforcement officer of the United States is basically has committed perjury. He said under oath he had no connection with these Russians. And now we find out not only did he have connections, but they were talking about the campaign. That's really scary stuff. It's scary stuff for our democracy. It's going to be investigated by Bob Mueller, and I think this this is big stuff. It's, every every day another amended. shoe there drops. There were things he didn't remember, and he's recused himself from that investigation. And, and, and he, he should have recused himself. To that point, was good, being concerned about the republic, not just a democracy. But I would say that with regard to Kislyak and the conversations with Senator Sessions, he was a sitting member of the United States Senate. It's not the most unusual but thing. But he wasn't talking about it's the not, Senate. We, we don't he know. Was we, talking we, about we don't. The look, Mark, we don't know what all was said. Jackson, let's don't jump to conclusions. I can sit here and have a conversation. About what Loretta no, no, no. Lynch that's said to Bill the, Clinton that's what the on the tarmac that's in what, Arizona. That's what the intelligence There's debates say. about what he did. The point is he did no the right, he did the the right thing say. to... You, you know, to be from a southern state, you need you, to learn some southern manners. You, you, you the point the is, is you have a guy who recused himself, and he did the right thing by recusing himself. Now, that's where I think the president made a mistake for going after him for recusing himself. Jeff Sessions, an honorable guy, was an early supporter of the president. He did the right thing. He showed propriety in the office of the Attorney General of the United States, unlike his predecessor. And, it's and I that think that was the right thing to have done. In the New York done. Times interview, well, respond, Mark, and that's all we have Trump said. says, I would never have hired Sessions if I knew he would let people investigate. 
investigate me. And that's kind of like saying I'm guilty. And so I don't want anyone investigating me. It was a bad me. choice the words of that will agree. It was a bad choice the words of that will agree. I think that he should have let Sessions do what he did and it was the right thing to do. All right, well, that, look, well Josh got the last word. Mark, so. It happens. Josh, Mark, thank you both. Very interesting, very lively. Thank you. Thanks, Josh. Thank you.